Right, welcome back to my channel guys. Um, today I'm going to be propagating one of my begonias. Um, this one I've propagated recently, about three weeks ago. I took three leaves off, um, and which I'll show you in a second, and all three have rooted and started shooting. So I'm going to be trying it with my other begonia today and showing you how to. Um, but yeah, so I'll move this one out of the way. Put him down there. So I've had that begonia for about a month now and I propagated its leaves probably about three weeks ago and if we get in close you can see here it started shooting up that one that one's just shooting up now you can see a couple of shoots coming up and then this third one actually has its own little leaf so all three have rooted really well and relatively quickly as well so what you're going to need is a sharp knife, something to cut on, and I've already prepared my little container. I'm just using multi-purpose compost. If, you, if you're less likely to keep on top of watering and keeping it moist, then I'd go for something that maybe has uh, vermiculite or perlite in it, something like that, but because I did it previously with just regular multi-purpose, I'm going to do the same again. Um, all right, let me bring over the begonia that I'm going to be using. So this begonia is actually a little bit messier, like it doesn't have a nice form as such, but the I think the leaves are really like pretty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find that that leaf would be good. I'm gonna find leaves that aren't too big so that I can fit more than one in the container that I'm using. But preferably the healthier and larger the leaves are, the better because they're holding they've got more of a storage in the leaf. Don't go for like smaller ones because they, they're just going to dry up too quick. So I think, uh, actually this one looks quite good. I'm going to cut quite low so that there's less um, stem to like rot away. So that one I'll go for. I'm going to, I think I'll take two of these only because the leaves are quite a bit bigger than the previous begonia I used. And maybe that one, no, it's got a hole in it. But the, the size of leaves on this begonia vary so much compared to the other one like that that leaf there that's a lovely leaf but it's just it's too big for the container i'm using so let's go for a different one there's one down here i'll grab that one right there we are it does have a little nick in it but we'll see how it goes right so let's get the begonia out of the way i'm going to change the angle of the camera just so that it's a bit of a nicer angle for you to see so i've got my leaves there and I'm just going to change the angle. Right here we are. So there are multiple methods of um, cutting, taking the leaf cuttings of begonias. I've seen people where they just cut the stem off and then they kind of slice through the veins and then lay it, like pin it to the surface of the soil. Um, I've tried that method and the leaves just dried up too quickly so I'm not going to do that. But the method, the second method is you kind of cut the centre away and then bury the bottom of the leaf which is what I'm going to be doing today so um, it's, it's, it's very it's so easy so you just go near the the stem there and kind of make an incision around so you're you're cutting through all those veins because the veins are where the new shoots are going to come from so just around try not to rip the leaf so that you've cut that section out there we are and then you've got that like that and then you literally just oh look at the red juice that's come out of that and then you just bury the base of the leaf and just make sure it's in in contact with the soil that is the most important part because they will dry up very quickly if they aren't in contact with the soil there we go there's one done I probably would not have been able to fit three in this container, but the same again. I'm going to cut a little wider on this one. Just stay close to the stem where the big veins are. That's the most important part. There we are. And then I'm going to do the same again. And just lay that in there. And this should take so I'm, going to, I'm expecting it to take the same as the, the other begonia, which was about three weeks. And after it was after, because I kept kind of checking and 
for the longest time it wasn't really doing anything and it hadn't rooted or anything. But then as soon as it hit three weeks, it rooted and started shooting at the same time, like within that week. So I'm just gonna be patient with these and I expect them to work. So it's, a, it's as simple as that. And like I say, these have grown. If you actually look, so like I mentioned with the veins on that begonia, you can see that one has come up here, one has come up here, and there should be one coming up there. I expect one to come up there. So each large vein, one has grown from. So when I do dig these out, I'll probably be able to divide them and get maybe three plants from each leaf. And we're gonna put them in their own little pots and just see how they grow. So I'll keep you updated with how they grow, but um, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do straight away is water them. And I've just been using regular tap water um, I'm sure rainwater would be better, um, but I've just been squirting around the base of the leaf, just making sure to keep all of it moist, because if there's a dry patch of dirt, it will just um, suck away the water from the leaf. So I, I just, every couple of days, I do this, spray it with this water and just don't let it dry out. If it dries out, it probably will survive if it dries out for a very short period of time, but obviously you don't want it to dry out. So there we go. And that'll take about three weeks and I'll update when they do um, start to grow, but it's as simple as that. And we also have got two different varieties of um, begonia cuttings there. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. It's been a very short and quick video, but um, I do plan on doing some more videos soon because I've got a lot more house plants and I just I want to kind of do a collection video so you can expect to see that soon. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.